This one piece of advice will change the game for you in your GCSE summer exams. Instead of answering the questions in order, what you could do instead is go through, just quickly scan through the paper and circle or, or highlight all the questions that you are familiar with that you can do and do those questions first. You see, what will happen is it will give you an immediate confident boost knowing that you've already picked up some marks. And what won't happen is this. Often, you know, some students come across this question and then it's a hard question. And they're sitting there for five minutes thinking about this question, reading over and over again, trying to work out what it is that's required. But then they start doubting themselves. They start feeling nervous. They start thinking, oh my God, I've spent like five minutes looking at this. You know, the clock's ticking and everything. And, you know, oh, and they finally turn over to the next question. But that question also starts giving them a problem. And it's a question that they might have usually been able to do. But because of their ordeal that they suffered on the previous question, they start making mistakes on that question as well and doubting themselves. So leave all the difficult questions for the end. Get rid of all the easy questions at the beginning, the medium questions after that, and then you can start approaching those questions that you've left. The pressure will be off. You would have gained a lot of marks already on the paper and you'll start feeling a lot more confident and when you have that confidence boost, guys, it's like a boxing match, right? When someone goes for a, a world heavyweight fight, their coach is pumping them up, is telling them, you can do it, give them that confidence. And sometimes you start to get, you know, those dark horses that knock out the world champion or something against all the odds because of that confidence boost. So in the same way, you want to feel that confidence boost for yourself in your exam. Try this out for your GCSE math summer exams and see how you get on. All the best, guys.